I'm here. I don't know what to say next. Okay, I think I need to make a good introduction next time. But for now, on my second video, I will share to you a product review of the latest model of Cherry Mobile's M1. A few months back, I was invited by uh, Cherry Mobile to attend their launching event for their newest product, which is the M1. They had a raffle during the event, and the grand prize would be the Cherry Mobile M1. Luckily, I got the grand prize. Oh, I almost forgot! I told you last week that I will post pictures every month, the unforgettable moment in my life during that month. So for the month of July last month, this is my photo. My first blog post of course. So let's post this photo now here. So without further ado, let's get this product review started. This is the box of the Cherry Mobile M1 and it's really elegant. It looks elegant because of the color black and gold with gold printed. On the side of the box you see the sticker M1 Cherry Mobile brand of course and M1 again. At the back of the box we see the specs of the phone. The OS is Android 6.0, 5.5 inches full lamination Asahi glass, deck core Hello X20, 32GB ROM and 4GB RAM. The rear camera is 20 21.0 megapixel and the front cam is 8.0 megapixel. It has dual nano SIM, fast charging with 3600 milliampers battery. It is 4G. It has Sony IMX230 sensor, dual LD LED flash, 0.2 seconds focus speed, reversible plug orientation, USB Type-C, fingerprint scanner, and it is Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Before we start testing the phone, let's do the unboxing first. jack on the upper part uh, we have the speaker here there I don't know if you can see it this is the speaker this is the microphone and then the U the USB jack by the back of the phone you can see the rear camera here rear camera and the flash and the fingerprint reader here and last we have here this um, sim card tray you can put the dual sim. Now let's try to put sim card in this phone. According to this manual, it says depending on model, sim card access will be either on the side here or from the rear. Oh. Oh, okay. I think there's something in the back. Let's try to open. I think uh, the micro SD card will be oi ini banget ata bubuksan Allah there's no sim card tray inside no micro SD slot so I think uh, you cannot expand this phone only internal storage I guess but don't worry it's 32 gig I think that's fine already you don't need to have extra memory, right? I'll put it back. Hello. So guys, ang M1 ata ay hindi binubuksan ang likod. Don't follow me. <laughs> Malito, mali, mali. <sighs> there, okay na. Okay, so 
So according to the manual, is this happy? Meron either on the side or or from the rear. Okay, there's the side, so there's no rear, obviously. Ensure the phone is powered off. Number two, use SIM card tool to slide SIM tray out. I think there's no SIM tray in the box. Mm, no SIM tray tool. Since I didn't see any SIM card tool inside the box, I'll just use this pin or you can use safety pin in order to open the slot. Let's try. Okay. This is a tray. Step three. Insert up to two nano SIM card in the tray. Let's try one. Oh, okay, the tray has two SIMs already. Cool. Okay, it has SIM card one and SIM card two. Make sure that your SIM are nano, okay, so it will fit. And it fits there. Let's try. Let's open the phone now. Let's see how long will it take to open the phone. Uh, okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> ah, so it takes like seconds, like 30 seconds to open the phone. Ooh, welcome. E warranty greetings from Cherry Mobile. And at least five pesos credit to activate the service. Hello? Long five pesos. Ento. Let's try to click next. Guide wala kong five pesos. Please fill in. Invalid. I'm using the SIM card in the other phone. But I noticed that this phone is smart lock because I tried using the glue but it's not working. The SIM card cannot be uh, accessed or it's not really working yet. It says here that the SIM slot is empty but I did insert globe and smart. Next, for check your phone, there are three options. Set the fingerprint, set the pin or password or no thanks. I'll choose set up fingerprint. Fingerprint added, just touch the fingerprint sensor to wake and unlock your device. Okay, now let's try if the fingerprint sensor is really working. I'll try to lock this phone using the power button here. See? It's locked. Okay. Now I'll try to use my fingerprint to open it. Ooh! It's working! And it's fast. Oh, I think I love the fingerprint sensor. See? Oh. <laughs> this is what you see when you finally open the phone. Now let's see what's in, what apps are included in this phone. So let's start. Now these are the apps that are included. Okay, next let's uh, try the button. According here in the manual, there's no button outside the screen so all you need to do is to navigate the button inside it let's see if uh, the buttons are really are, are really fast when you navigate it okay so you see below there are the buttons on the left side there's the back button circle one is the home button and the square is the recent app button now let's try to hide it first and let's try to navigate it Okay, I think let's try setting. Okay, I'll try to... I'm trying to show the buttons up, but it's not really working. I don't know why. I think it's really hard. Okay, there. Now it showed up. Okay. I think with the buttons, it's really slow. If you try to set it up, if you want to show the, uh, the buttons up, it's kind of slow. Next, we will try the camera. Of course, it's very, very important. So uh, let's see if the resolution of the camera is really good. Mm, okay, I think I'll start first with the setting of the camera. Hi! <laughs> okay, let's have the setting. 
Now they have the exposure, uh, scene mode, what's this? White balance, uh, the image property. Okay, so you can actually edit it while you're taking photo. That's great. Now I'll check the resolution of the camera, both front and back, if they are all good. Now let's start first with the front cam. I'll take a selfie. Oh, it's really hot. Okay. Now this is this my this is my photo. Let's try to zoom it in. Oh, okay. So it's kind of grainy. Well, it's grainy, but it's it's sharp. If you try to zoom it out, it's sharp. But when you try to zoom in, you'll see that the photo is really grainy. Now let's see if the back camera is has better resolution than in the front camera. It's good that there's autofocus in it, so I think it's great. Okay, now this is oh, I think it's better. The grainy part is not that visible and it's super sharp. I think I love the back camera than in the front camera. Yeah, see? Even if I zoom it in, the grainy part is not visible. But when I, um, even though if I try to zoom it out, it's really perfect. So I'll test now the audio if it's really working and also the video chat. I'll call my friend. It's actually her birthday today and I'll, I'll greet her. <laughs> Try it again, ringing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What's up, man? Ano? Uy, choppy ka. Teka nga, isa pa. Di ba ako marinig? Nalubot ako. Try ko lang. Ayan. Try ko lang yung headset. Naririnig mo na ako? <laughs> Nagbibideo ako ngayon. Tinatry ko yung cherry mobile na binigay sa akin. Hello ka. Hello ka sa camera. Nakavideo ka. Hello ka sa camera. <laughs> Yan po si nerd. Birthday niya po ngayon. Hi! I cannot look straight to the cam to the camera because there's a flash in it so I'll just look in the screen okay uh, na low bat kasi yung camera ko so I'm using the Cherry Mobile M1 front camera okay so I think that's all for my product review for Cherry Mobile M1 what I love the most in Cherry Mobile M1 is the fingerprint scanner because it's super fast like it's really really fast <laughs> you can easily open unlock your phone use your, your fingerprint and also, you can add a lot of fingerprints, as many as you want. And I also love the camera, especially the rear camera, the back camera, because it's super sharp, but it's not that really grainy. So I think I can capture photos everywhere, especially when I'm on events using this phone. As for the front camera, I think I love it now, especially with the video, because it has flashlight. <laughs> built in while I'm having this video so I think it adds up with the brightness and I think it's really good oh there's one thing that I don't like in this phone is that um, the home buttons I guess because the home buttons are not outside the screen it's inside it and you need to scroll up the screen as many as you can for the uh, buttons to show up I'm not pretty sure if there's a trick on that for me to navigate the buttons really well but if I figured that out I'll tell you guys I hope this video helped you out in deciding whether to buy cherry mobile M1 or not but if I were you I think this product is really good already uh, plus the fact that the price is really cheap and yet the quality is really good so I think you should try to buy this one I'm not saying this because the cherry mobile gave me a free phone this cherry mobile m1 but i'm saying this because it's actually true as you can see with the product review a while ago there are pros and cons in this phone 
I showed it to you already. Now it's your choice whether to buy it or not. Well, I think that's it for my product review for Cherry Mobile M1. If you want to know more about the description, the specs, and the content and features of this phone, especially the price of this phone, you can check my blog at www.justingallen.com or you can actually click the link down below. I hope you like this video. If you think that this video helped you out, please don't forget to hit thumbs up. If you have any further questions regarding their product, just comment down below. And if you want to watch more videos of me, don't forget to hit subscribe. And that's it! I hope you guys like my video. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next Wednesday. Goodbye for now! God bless you all! Bye!